A really common thing to do in 3D is to build 3D shapes out of 2D curves or uh, illustrator files, uh, vector files of some sort. So we're going to start this off by taking an EPS logo file, we're going to open it in Illustrator and then prep it to go into Cinema 4D. So I'm just going to open the um, EPS file, which is a very common vector format, and I'm going to open this in Illustrator. Now, what I've got in Illustrator is my logo, and if I have a look over at my layers, um, there's a whole bunch of groups inside there with all the parts of the curve and the logo. That's fine. Uh, these have come in locked, so I'm just going to unlock those. And what I want to do now is I'm going to select the whole group of, or the whole selection of groups. Um, what I want to do is I want to make sure that when I bring them into Cinema 4D that they appear at the origin, at the center of our 3D world. Uh, it just makes things a lot tidier and easier. And when we create extrudes and uh, a lot of other functions in Cinema 4D, they're created at the origin. So it keeps your scene really tidy if we can bring the, uh, the curves in at the origin. So the way that we do that is to select all of these. I want to go to the Transform window. And I want to make sure that these X and Y values are zeroed out. If these are zeroed, these correspond to the X and Y values in Cinema 4D when you import it. So I'm just going to delete that and put in zero and I'm going to do the same for my Y put in zero. Now you'll notice that the logo has shot way up to the left hand corner of my document. That's fine. It doesn't matter if the curves are outside of the artboard. It doesn't matter as long as all your curves are there and your X and Y values are zero. And now uh, we're going to save this out. So I'm going to go to file save as and what I want to do is I want to save this as an Illustrator file make sure it's Illustrator AI the other thing that's really important is that when we save it out for the version of the file we want to save it as a Illustrator version 8 so this is a really uh, simplified version of an Illustrator file uh, all it saves is the, the curves uh, more modern versions of Illustrator have uh, all sorts of clever effects and gradients and um, a, a whole bunch of extra stuff in the file that Cinema 4D can't read. So we want to keep it as a really simple Illustrator 8 file and hit OK. Uh, saving it to an older format, yes that's fine. And that's done. So now if I jump into Cinema 4D, I can go to my file menu, I can go open and uh, I'm going to change, uh, sorry, I'm going to select that Lego file that I've saved out of there. Now I want to make sure that Connect Splines and Group Splines is turned off in my checkboxes. And there is my logo and I can see here it is at the origin. You can see it's the origin because there's the small coloured lines there that represent the centre of our 3D space. So there's my logo there from Illustrator and there's all the different parts of the curves all saved into groups automatically. Okay, so the next section is to tidy up these groups.